John Ross is back with us. Showers and storms continue to move through our area. Mm -hmm. John, it sounds like there are more to come. There are more to come. Not only are we going to see this move through what's moving through southern Illinois right now, but we also have more storms moving their way into parts of northwest Tennessee, and we'll take a close look at that here shortly. Right now, let's talk about what's to come after these storms. Of course, this rain going to last through the overnight hours for the most part and likely into early tomorrow morning. So as you're heading out tomorrow, it's going to be a wet start, but it'll also be a bit cooler. Tomorrow afternoon, we just really don't recover temperature wise. We're cool and breezy throughout much of Saturday. Sunday the same. Well, we're dry, but we're seeing more sunshine potential there to be a bit warmer as we get towards next week. Other than a small chance for showers to kick off your week on Monday, we are looking at a bit of a drier period heading our way. So if you're tired of the rain, there is a bit of optimism out there for you. But right now, still talking about showers and thunderstorms. Still a lot of lightning, about 300 strikes across the entire region right now. Um, and again, that stretches from start, uh, southern Illinois off towards parts of southeast Missouri. But some of that looking just like more stratiform rain instead of uh, these active thunderstorms. But what probably catches your eye is the severe thunderstorm warning we do have in parts of northwest Tennessee. So let's go ahead and take a look at that as we progress here. You can see week, weekly and Obion counties still in the severe thunderstorm warning for what looks like a doozy of a cell here. It stretches all the way from Union, Tennessee, straight down to Dyer. Of course, the portion that we're concerned with, again, going to be this pink area where we may see a little bit of hail uh, with that. Certainly some heavy rain and lightning. So heavy rain and lightning, of course, already going to be top concerns. But when you add the hail to that, uh, we've got the severe thunderstorm warning in effect. That lasts until 715, and that'll be moving off towards the Dresden Martin area Greenfield. If you're in those locations, if you know anyone in that area, you may want to let them know a uh, good time to start pulling things inside and get inside uh, before that moves on through. Otherwise, looking at some heavy rain across the region and more lightning and thunder, of course. So again, if you're outside, keep that in mind. We've got lightning with just about all of these cells from Harrisburg to Pinckneyville. And in fact, the Pinckneyville cell uh, looked a little, little more intimidating a couple of scans ago. We've been watching that one for a while. There's been some potential for hills. We've seen some more, some higher reflectivities that can be an indicator of that. But otherwise, we're just looking at heavy rain and lightning. Again, lightning going to be probably our biggest concern throughout the evening here until these die down into the overnight hours. Overnight hours, we're expecting to continue to see these showers and storms hang around before pushing away. We will see another round moving in out of the west. There's some indication that that could break apart as we get closer. We will expect more rain throughout the overnight hours, at least the chance for rain going to be area wide throughout the mid or early to mid morning hours tomorrow. That moves away and then by the time we get to noon on Saturday, largely drier conditions area wide could see a few light showers, but largely dry, cloudy, breezy, and a bit cooler than what we saw this afternoon. We uh, approached 80 degrees, over 80 degrees for a lot of folks out there. We won't see that tomorrow, so I hope you enjoyed it while you had the chance. Rainfall projection between now and this time tomorrow, uh, we're looking at anywhere between, I'll say, half an inch in some places. To some places locally could see more than an inch by the time this is all said and done. Uh, so again, some heavy rain with a few of these cells that are moving through into tomorrow. Again, we're going to keep the rain in the forecast for the morning hours. That will quickly dwindle as you get closer to the lunch hour, and these might not be conservative enough. We may be looking at a quicker dry out. So uh, again, some good news if you want to get some outdoor time, but again, it's going to be cool. We're talking temperatures in the 60s with winds out of the southwest, anywhere between 15 to 20 miles per hour. So certainly making it feel a bit cooler out there tomorrow afternoon. Again, for your Saturday, still looking at, uh, again, a wet start to the day, but again, drier conditions as you get through the middle part of the week. Partly cloudy skies by the time we get to Tuesday. Monday, of course, we're going to see a wave move through. That brings in that 40% chance for showers. Again, we're not looking at thunderstorms or severe weather for Monday. Uh, just a, a chance for some light showers that move on through. And, of course, drier conditions that I was talking about at the beginning of the forecast. Drier conditions in for the middle part of the week to the end of next week. So, again, Mark, if you're tired of the rain, you're going to get a break from it. And you might even see some more sunshine, much like what we saw today. All right. Thank you, John. You're welcome.